I'm doing a quick video on the meaning of terms such as reduction, oxidation, redox, reducing agents, oxidizing agents, and I'll show you some equations and help you identify each of the species. So first of all, let's look at the definitions of reduction and oxidation. So reduction is gain of electrons, whereas oxidation is loss of electrons. And remember, you can use the mnemonic oil rig to help you remember that. Oxidation is loss of electrons, reduction is gain. But there's a second definition just involving oxygen. So oxidation, as the name suggests, is gain of oxygen, whereas reduction is loss of oxygen. It will be clear in the question which type it's asking about because you'll know if there's electrons being added or lost or oxygen being gained or lost. Redox, nothing to worry about. Look at the word itself. It is where both oxidation and reduction occur at the same time. A reducing agent is a substance which causes another substance to be reduced. So read that again. A reducing agent is a substance which causes another substance to be reduced, whereas an oxidizing agent is a substance which causes another substance to be oxidized. Now we're gonna look at some examples. So taking this one, you could be asked, has oxidation or reduction taken place? And you would say reduction, why? because electrons have been gained. Look, there they are being added. What about a second example? What's occurred here? Well, oxidation, why? Electrons have been lost. Again, that's clear to see. Just be prepared that sometimes you'll see the second equation like this. If you minus two electrons from the left-hand side or add them to the right-hand side, it's tantamount to being the same thing. So again, this equation is oxidation. Now we're looking at a second example. This time we're being asked which species has been reduced, which species has been oxidized. Hopefully it's clear because we have oxygen included that our definitions this time will be the ones relating to oxygen being lost or gained. So which species has lost oxygen? Hopefully you can see that it's the iron oxide because look, when it appears on the right hand side, it has lost that oxygen. Just write the formula. Which species has been oxidized? Which species has gained oxygen? Again, look, the carbon monoxide is now carbon dioxide, so that is carbon monoxide. Now we'll take another example. So here's zinc reacting with copper 2 plus ions. So here we're being asked to find which species is reduced, which one's oxidized which one's acting as a reducing agent, which one's acting as an oxidizing agent. So we'll start here. Which species is reduced? Now we're looking for the definition that involves electrons. Reduction, remember, is gain of electrons. So what over here has gained electrons? Well, I'm hoping you can see that the Cu2 plus has become neutral on the right-hand side, so what must have happened is that that Cu2 plus must have gained electrons in order to become neutral. And I could even write out the equation just to show you, to prove that this must have taken place. 
there's the gain of electrons. So the answer here is Cu2+. Which species has been oxidised? So which species has lost electrons? I hope you can see that this has gone from being neutral zinc to being Zn2+. So in order to get that positive charged, it must have lost negativity. So the answer here is Zn. Be careful. It is Zn, it is not Zn2+. Just to prove why that's true. So this is what's taken place. In order for the zinc to become Zn2+, it must have lost two electrons. Which species is acting as a reducing agent? Remind yourself of the definition. A reducing agent is, is a substance which causes another substance to be reduced. So the substance being reduced is the copper, because remember it gains two electrons. So what's causing that copper to be reduced, to gain two electrons, it is the zinc. Which substance is acting as an oxidising agent? So which substance is causing another substance to lose electrons? Well, this is losing electrons, and so it must be the Cu2 plus causing that. Remember, they're going to be reacting together. And an interesting point to note is, by definition, a reducing agent must be oxidised. And sure enough, look, it's the same species. By definition, an oxidising agent must be reduced. Look, it's the same species, so a helpful way of checking if you're right. Now we're being asked to explain why this is a redox reaction. So remember, redox means that both reduction and oxidation are taking place at the same time. So we're going to point that out, both oxidation and reduction. have taken place at the same time. And point out what's been reduced and what's been oxidised. Zinc has been oxidised. Say why? Because it has lost two electrons. The Ag plus has been reduced because it has gained an electron. So my take home message is, be careful, it is the Ag plus, you can't just write silver here and this is what people are tempted to do. Make sure you point out the exact species because obviously if you said silver it would be the wrong substance.